meine Bilder sind von meinem Leben. Die reflektieren mein Beziehung zum Leben. Und so versuche ich einfach die musikalische Symphonie, was ich in meinem Leben höre, erlebe, die werden mit Noten, die Farbe und Linien in meine Bilder einen Platz nehmen. So this is a short clip from the short film Ismat Tale of the Dove for which I did the uh, visual effects. The short film is a portrait of the artist Ismat and for this project we wanted to bring his paintings to life. So in this video I'm going to show you some of the basic techniques I used for creating this shot right here. First please go watch the short film, I linked it in the descriptions. So let's add in a camera and reposition it. This is the original painting by Ismat. All we have to do is go into camera view and just drag and drop the image into it. This will automatically set it up. I step background image and I'm going to set the dimensions to the same as the original painting and now the painting is correctly displayed so now we can start to model the geometry on which the painting will be projected on go into the wireframe mode to see what we're doing and now we just have to interpret the shapes of the painting into a low poly mesh but I used the knife tool to cut out the window shapes and then I selected these faces and extruded them inwards great thing about this particular painting is that everything can be created with primitive shapes. So this is the final model I used and that's as detailed as it gets. So now we just have to apply the texture. Switch into the camera view and hit U, project from U for all of the objects. Now create a new material and use the original painting as the texture. And now we can see that everything is placed correctly. So now if we use the painting as a color input for the principal BFCF shader, things start to get pretty interesting because everything is now lit by the lighting in our 3D scene. So I'm going to switch the surface of the world to a sky shader. So now we got natural sunlight on our scene here. I'm also going to use the texture as a height factor of a bump node to add a little bit of texture to everything. And now we can just start to to play around with the lighting a bit. We can use a area lamp for example to light these windows to create this effect of glowing window lights at night. So I'm going to distribute some point lights and area lights in the scene. So because we didn't want this shot to be in a vertical format, we can change the resolution back to 16 to 9. And what I did to fill out the empty space is just to duplicate the models and extending the image this way until our entire frame is filled up. And that's what the extended version looks like. And this is how I turned this painting into a 3D scene. So most of the bigger VFX shots in a short film were created with the same projection mapping technique. I also extracted some of the building models for this shot here to create this background village. If you want to know how to create complex green screen shots, check out my course in the descriptions. And if you want to know how I create VFX breakdowns like these ones, watch this video here.